And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and the Milwaukee Brewers. And, and we'll now, be back with the first pitch right after this. 2022 Milwaukee Brewers. Just about ready to go. And today's starting pitcher, Corbin Burns. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. That one drilled left field and foul ball. First pitch, one o'clock. Ball in one now. Line drive, takes it in for the out. Batting second, the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. foul ball is there a little wrinkle to that I think there was yeah a little slider action line drive to short and caught batting third the left fielder Tyler O'Neill here's Tyler O'Neill we talk about guys with good speed and definitely he has it but pushing the offense aside for just a second Chris it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Renfro makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. It's the Cardinals nothing, and the Brewers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the first, and towing the slab, the guy with the big yacker. The Yellow Hammer, Uncle Charlie, Adam Wainwright. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, Brewers. hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep stand. those guys off balance. Whoa. And he deals. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Drops into the glove, and there's one away. Batting second, not shortstop. Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas stands in. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. Out towards right center field. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And it gets by him. And now it's Christian Yelich. That Swings through that no one. Oh and one. Christian Yelich. Left hand hitter waits. Fought off foul. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. On a line. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. And they strike first as they take a 1 0 lead. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Batting four. The designated hitter. Andrew. In the air, out towards Mark left Hutchins. center. O'Neal gliding back. Brings it in. Runner tags up for third. He's in there. 
batting fifth, the first baseman, Rowdy Tellez. Here's Rowdy Tellez. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. A towering home run. And they add a pair. It's 3-0. That home run was a no-doubter as we dive into the numbers with StatCast. Crushed. Or just absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo, and like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well, and that carried way over the wall. Now it's Hunter that Renfro. The right fielder. Hunter. Up the Renfro. middle. Edmund over to pick it up. Sends it to first. And Renfro is retired. Gets him easily, ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 3-0. All set for the start of the inning. And now, Nolan Arenado. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And a pitch. In the air, left field. One away. Batting fifth. The right fielder, number three. Dylan this Carlson. is Dylan Carlson. He has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties, and yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy, but the numbers say what they say. Fly ball to right. And there's two down. Batting six. The designated hitter, Corey Here's Corey Dickerson. Dickerson. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Ripped on a line. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's batting, a good batting. sound coming the off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, Yadier. lifted into the outfield, Molina. that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now Molina at the plate. Line drive and a base hit right there. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. The shortstop. So first and second with two outs. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. And fouled off. And he'll one. He swings and fouls one off. Burns, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Dickerson, the lead runner at second. Molina at first, two out of the inning. Center field. Kane under this one. And the inning is over. So the Cards strand a couple. They trail it here, 3-0. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Omar Narvaez at the plate. Leading off for the Brewers. The catcher. Omar Narvaez. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. Ground ball, Goldie. Goldie takes it himself. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting it. The center fielder. Lorenzo. Game. 
now it's Lorenzo Cain. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. In the air, right field. Carlson puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two down. Batting nine, the third baseman, Jay. Now it's Chase Peterson. Peterson. Next pitch has popped up. Makes a nice sliding catch. Gone in order are the Brewers, but they lead it 3 0. Out of the third inning, and stepping in is the speedy Harrison Bader. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. In the air, out towards right center. It falls in, and that's a hit. Now back in safely at first. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. And the now bat they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get Tommy him into motion. Edmund. Back to the top of the lineup. And now Tommy Edmund. This guy has turned into a beast. Liner stamped at first. Takes it to the bag himself. But he's back in time. The first baseman. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Yelich makes the catch. Two down. Up next to the Cardinals, the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Man at first, Tyler O'Neill will hit next. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And there's a foul ball. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. That's hard hit in the line. And that should be extra bases. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now that the third base So they're down to their final out. Here's Nolan Arenado. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Just a weak fly ball this time. And that'll get down for a hit. Runner at third puts on the brakes. Base is now loaded with two away. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Totally tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and deep in the zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Carlson swings through it for strike one. And that's the ball game. Kind of a strange win. Only three hits. So they definitely weren't fired on all cylinders there. Great pitching. Really kept them in it and gave them a chance. A shutout in this one. 3 nothing. our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.
the final line score for our ball game this afternoon.